Have you ever hit that sweet spot where everything's going right, doors open, and opportunities magically appear? That is what Golden Alignment is all about. Dr. Beth Golden loves to play in that golden space and teach others how to get there and stay there. Get ready to listen, share, and experience what Golden Alignment in life can look like for you. Now, here is the host of Golden Alignment, author, speaker, and coach, Dr. Beth Golden. Hello, and welcome to Golden Alignment. Uh, my guest today is Zoilita Grant. She is a dear friend of mine. She has been a coach of mine and mentor, and I value I value her being and her wisdom. Um, Zoilita has been using hypnosis to help her clients achieve personal and professional success for nearly 50 years. She uses the tools and techniques of coaching with the power and punch of hypnosis. She is committed to the evolution of humanity through the transformation of consciousness, and she's eager to share tools to help achieve this. So we're going to be discussing why this is important, because um, we need to be in sync for each of us to achieve golden alignment. And when the conscious and subconscious disagrees, the subconscious always wins. And when you line up, you become in sync and achieve golden alignment. So good afternoon, Zoelita. How are you doing? I'm doing fine, Beth. I am so excited to be on your show and to share with your listeners all of the things that are really tied in to using your mind to get into that sweet spot of golden alignment. Yes. Now, so Alita's business name is Mindset for Success. So, so Alita, can you share with us like what is mindset and why that's so important? So mindset is almost as if it's a channel in your mind. Just like if your mind is tuned to Fox Sports, you can't get PBS-type programming. If your mind is tuned to failure, to lack, to poverty consciousness, you can't get that alignment that you need to be in that golden sweet spot of life. Mindset is really everything. It's about how you take in information, how you process it, how you identify it, and most important, it affects your choices and decisions. Yes, it does. <laughs> now, when you're talking about um, having a radio station, and you know you you could be tuned to Fox, and you're not going to get CNN. Um, Kind of share how does that happen to get in golden alignment because that's all about our conscious mind and subconscious mind. And can you share with us some of the statistics as far as how much or how often your conscious mind is really leading the show? And so that we, the, yeah, go ahead. The conscious mind is actually only 15% of your mind. 85% is the subconscious. And as you mentioned before, when they disagree, the subconscious is always going to win. It's going to create self-defeating patterns. It's going to have you pick up the bad habits. It's going to give you insomnia. So all of those things affect your ability to get into that sweet spot where you can truly be connected to the source energy that brings you that golden alignment with life. Well, that's beautiful. How often do you think people are even aware of this? You know, I like to think of consciousness as having four phases. The first phase is most people are unconsciously unconscious. And then at some people place, people begin to become conscious of their unconsciousness. They go, oh, I can't believe I just said that. Or, oh, notice that piece of behavior it reminds me of. And then they begin to move into the place where 
probably most of our listeners are today, where people are working to be consciously conscious. They listen to programs like this, they practice yoga, they meditate, they work to stay in that place of conscious consciousness. I think that actually makes up a very small percentage of the population. And then I think perhaps someday we just become unconsciously conscious. We've become so in the now, so present, that we just react from that moment of deep connection to ourself and that expression in the world. I agree. I have heard of this, and I love putting the word consciousness in there. I've heard of unconscious incompetence. It's like you don't know what you don't know. Yeah. And then conscious incompetence. It's like, well, you know, I know about tennis, but I'm not competent in playing it. So you can be a little bit frustrated. And then with practice, you're conscious and you're competent. And then you want it to be on um, automatic pilot. And I think what we bring to the world is helping people, A, understand that because our conscious mind doesn't see the subconscious and the subconscious is all about protection. So whenever we go to do something new that might create some anxiety or fear, stress, the subconscious raises the shield. And, you know, it's like, help, Mr. Wizard, (laughs) get me out of here. So can you share in your business how you help people kind of recognize that subconscious voice, what kind of emotions might they be feeling, and then how to – there are some quick techniques to get in line with with the two of them. I think that meditation as a personal habit is almost the most important thing that you can choose to do. And all of our latest research with neuroscience tells us that open-eyed meditation is actually more effective than closed-eyed meditation. And so developing that practice, which we think of as mindfulness, where you just spend 10 to 20 minutes at a time just watching your breathing, relaxing yourself, staying in that place of of neutral is one of the very best things you can do to stay in alignment. Now, that's interesting. Do you have any more information on open-eyed as opposed to closed-eyed? Because I always tend to like go in with my eyes closed, and I tend to have a little bit of a challenge meditating sitting still. So often I'll go for a walk and kind of get in an alpha state in, a, in an outdoor environment, so my eyes would be open. Yes, so all of these things are ways of bringing the the conscious and the subconscious into a better place of alignment. But we're actually getting a lot of wonderful research from the science of neuroscience. And we are learning that the physical brain is actually very plastic and very Mm -hmm. changeable. And the very best way to do that is through the process of open eyes. When you close your eyes, it's too easy to go into fantasy or making laundry lists or rehearsing the past. But that (laughs) process of just staying eyes open and attending to the breath is one of the very best techniques for working with the mind. That makes so much sense. I'm I'm laughing because I do that. (laughs) <laughs> when my eyes are closed, you know, it might not be the grocery list, but I, I will wander, you know, and it's always that challenge to to quiet the the monkey mind and the chatter and, and be in a place of of peace and um, connecting with your soul. Now, right. we're talking about connecting with our soul and being in goal. I think, you know, a lot of times we just need to be quiet, and we need to listen to what our soul is saying. And I find that in this day and age, that can be challenging because we have a lot of green time and a lot of toxicity in the world. Um, listening to this show, I changed the focus of my business because the show is called What Would Your Future Self Tell You? Mm-hmm. And that was kind of a fun exercise. So 
in your hypnosis, do you go through any processes like that? Oh, definitely. One of the most powerful ways to motivate people towards growth and development is to help them define a vision of what the future looks like. And when you can take journey inside of yourself and connect to that future part of yourself and get wisdom and guidance about how to get to the future, it's really such a significant thing for people. Yeah. I mean, the future creates hope. I'd heard somebody saying, well, there's really no past. It's just our memory and our attachment to the past, which either helps or inhibits our decision-making in the present, and that can inevitably obviously change our future choices or our future. So how do you feel about this past? Because that's a lot. That's where we have a lot of our blocks. We might have had an injury, and we don't want that to happen again. Our heart may have been broken, or somebody did something. I think there are two really important. I think there's two important things to really remember. First of all, the subconscious mind is literally the cells of the body. And the cells store electromagnetically and biochemically reactions to the experiences of life. Have you ever been triggered? When you're triggered, what that essentially means is that the subconscious has hit upon content that is not processed. So there are wonderful techniques that I use of clearing, which really remove that trigger from events in the past and makes the past historical data so that it mm-hmm. doesn't trigger you anymore. The second thing to remember is that the past is not actually an accurate predictor of the future. Okay. Now, so let's I'm imagine laughing. this. The future is Go. like only probability. And as you're okay. walking down a path towards your future, you can see there's a ladder with a can of paint on the top. As soon as you see that ladder, you change the future. As soon as you learn from the past, you change its impact on the future. Wow. Well, thank you. I love chatting with Zoilita. We we can we do this very easily all the time. Um, it is time to go into our first break. You are listening to Golden Alignment with me, Beth Golden, and this is on the Inspired Choices Network. Um, when we return, we'll continue discussing. I want to delve deeper into how to eliminate the trigger and the emotional content of a past thought so that we can move forward and create a greater future for ourselves. So we will be hitting on that on the other side of this first commercial break. Do you want to create change in your life based on your values? Do you want to love this experience we call life because you are living in alignment with your soul's calling? Do you want to expand your relationship with abundance and move from surviving to thriving? By tuning into Inspired Choices radio show, Golden Alignment with Dr. Beth Golden, you'll receive tools and inspiration you can use to do just that. You'll be amazed by your golden health, wealth, love, and magical opportunities. Listen for the Golden Alignment radio show every Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 1 p.m. Central, 12 p.m. Mountain, and 11 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Welcome back to the Inspired Choices radio show, Golden Alignment, with Dr. Beth Golden. To participate in this program, please call U.S. 815-880-8255, Canada 613-800-8736, or Skype us at Inspired Choices Network. You may also choose to comment by email by going to www.drbethgolden.com. Now back to Golden Alignment with Dr. Beth Golden. Hello and welcome back. I am Beth Golden on Inspired Choices Network 
and my radio show is called Golden Alignment. My guest today is Zoelita Grant, and right before the break, she was sharing that our uh, our past, we need to take the emotional energy out of it and create historical data and that we will learn from our past so that we don't make the same mistakes in the future. So, Zoelita, can you share with me, now it makes sense, and I kind of live in this world, but certain patterns will come up. Let's say in a relationship, I'll use myself, um, my husband passed away, I had a mate who had a, a medical crisis, and there's times where I think I want to be in a relationship, and then on the other hand, I think it could just be a bother because my life is very content. So how would you help me change that thought process and be open and expansive to a relationship in life? Well, first of all, I think relationships are really important because they really help us to grow and learn. And I'm a person that was very blessed by having a wonderful, loving relationship for 30 years, and it was the most powerful spiritual development experience of my life. So... I would suggest that perhaps because of experiences of disappointment that you've had in the past, you have subconscious blocks where there's a part of your subconscious that thinks that you won't be safe if you risk truly loving someone. And so what I would do is I would use the process of hypnosis to clear those blocks to connect you deeper with your own true soul's guidance so that your soul is more and more consciously directing the path of your life. And then I would teach you relationship skills about how to be really effective in a relationship. (laughs) Well, thank you. That would be wonderful. Now, because the show is called Golden Alignment, these are questions I'm going to ask in of all of my guests. Were there times in your life when you were not in alignment? Um, how did that look and feel? And then what did you do to shift it so that you could move through life with more ease and grace? So when I was 16 years old, I weighed 285 pounds, and I am about 5 foot 1 tall, and today I weigh 130 pounds. I knew that all of that weight that I had on my body had a lot of psychological stuff connected with it, but I also knew that if I went to college with that weight on my body, I would be stuck in the fat suit for my life, or at least I believed that. So I learned hypnosis, and I... All right. Well, we have had a technical difficulty with Zoilita, and she was sharing about... Um, being overweight and I know her personal story and she was overweight because there were some um, unhealthy patterns in her home life and she had put on this weight as a source of protection Um, and also going to college here you are interacting with people and wanting to put your best foot forward So not only losing weight was a way to connect with people in her life, it was also a way for her to release those past patterns of injury. And so it's very interesting how we can hold our fears. It could be in the form of weight. It can be in the form of phobias, you know, being fearful of having someone in connect with you. It could be being terrified of water and having no reason to be terrified with about water. So, so Alita, while we had technical difficulty, I was just sharing about, you know, as you lost weight, 
you were creating a new future for yourself and you were also losing some of the uncomfortable things in your past that had created the weight gain in the first place. Would you say that that's true? Absolutely. And it really helped me develop the habits and behaviors that kept me in alignment for much of my life. And then in 2014, I experienced a major crisis when my beloved husband got suddenly sick and died very quickly. And at that point, I was really thrown on a deeper connection with my soul and began to develop even more tools and techniques to help me stay into that place of alignment. Well, it's interesting that the universe creates discomfort in order for us to change. And oftentimes it may not be our choice or there's a tap on the shoulder like, this isn't right, you need to change. This isn't right, you need to change. And when we don't, it gets louder and more persistent. Um, you've also had some big changes throughout your 50-year career. Would you mind sharing about your, I think it was a delightful challenge because what came out of it was amazing. So about your challenge with the legal system. So I practiced psychotherapy for around 35 years, and then in 2008, I really became aware that that particular model of working with people was not a model that was in harmony with me. I didn't like to look at my clients as having something wrong with them or to see myself as an expert that was capable of helping them get better, in quotes. So mm -hmm. I stopped doing psychotherapy, went to school, became certified as a life coach and then a business coach, and then brought hypnosis, which has always been a tool that I've used, into coaching. At that particular time, the state of Colorado sued me to prohibit me as a coach from using hypnosis, which is also used by psychotherapists. It was a two-year battle. It cost me about $24,000, but I actually won the lawsuit. And winning that lawsuit set case law precedent that allows coaches to be able to use tools that are actually used by psychotherapists as long as they use them in a different way. And so I developed hypnotic coaching. Wow. Wow, that gave me chills. You know, two things. You can answer this quickly. How did the state even find out about you? Because you created this path for everybody else that's come after you to use all these marvelous tools. So how did they even find out about you? I think, unfortunately, it was a piece of professional jealousy where a hypnotherapist in the Denver area, I think, became jealous of the success that I had because people were willing to drive from Denver to Longmont to see me, although she lived in Denver. And so she reported me to the mental health board who investigated me. Wow. Well, I want to give you a round of applause and much thanks for the this great stress that you were put under and for the blessing of what we can do now. Can you share with us, like, what did you have to do differently to incorporate hypnosis in a coaching model? So, hip, so hypnotic coaching is the non-therapeutic use of hypnosis to help people achieve goals, learning goals, performance goals, fulfillment goals. So there are, it's a completely different orientation. See, psychotherapy is part of the medical model and presumes something's wrong with the client. Coaching okay. is what we call a developmental model. And that says that, you know, just like that acorn, grows up to be a mighty oak tree. 
All it needs is water and soil and sunshine. A human being has inside of them the seeds of their greatness, and all they need is a coach to help them get focused, to work on their habits and their skills, to work on their focus to achieve success. So you're coming from a model of of wellness and going from A, you're not sick, B, I'm not the one that's going to tell you what to do and fix you, C, we're moving from this situation forward and we may have to negate some of those subconscious things to help you, but you're walking side by side helping them achieve their goals. Yes, coaching is an equal relationship. You hire a professional coach, like you hire a, a acupuncturist or you hire an accountant. See, in psychotherapy, it's an unequal relationship. And that's why I couldn't do it anymore. That is interesting. Now, what many of my listeners may not know is I was raised by a physician and he's a pediatrician and my mom was a nurse. So my entire upbringing, there was great emphasis on medical model and and going to school and achieving. And there are four children. And it's interesting that we are all in, quote unquote, the medical field from a completely different approach. One sister's acupuncturist. My brother helps companies with health insurance. I've been a coach and I use uh, energy techniques to help my clients. And my other sister helps people through nutrition. So it's interesting generationally how we've all morphed and my mom's no longer living, but both parents have been very supportive of this new paradigm. So tell me a little bit about hypnosis and have you ever used been part of an integrative medical model or you've used your skills within a medical setting? In the past, I have done a wide range of things. I, you know, for a period of time worked as a support person for um, a medical clinic that dealt with eating disorders and that was very much of the medical model. But as I mentioned before, in 2008, it's just all of a sudden I woke up and that didn't work for me anymore. And so I wanted to establish a relationship with people that felt more equal, that was more based on skill training, and that was more focused on a positive goal in the future as opposed to rehashing the past. Yes. We rehash the past, we lose energy rather than creating what we want to move forward. This is a perfect segue into our second commercial break. On the other side of this break, um, Zoilita is going to walk us through some hypnosis. So I'm excited. I've experienced this. I'm excited to experience it again. This is Dr. Beth Golden. My radio show is Golden Alignment on Inspired Choices Network. Thank you so much for tuning in. And we will have the joy of a hypnosis session on the other side of this commercial break. Do you want to create change in your life based on your values? Do you want to love this experience we call life because you are living in alignment with your soul's calling? Do you want to expand your relationship with abundance and move from surviving to thriving? By tuning into Inspired Choices Radio Show, Golden Alignment with Dr. Beth Golden, you'll receive tools and inspiration you can use to do just that. You'll be amazed by your golden health, wealth, love, and magical opportunities. Listen for the Golden Alignment Radio Show every Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 1 p.m. Central, 12 p.m. Mountain, and 11 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Welcome back to the Inspired Choices Radio Show, Golden Alignment, with Dr. Beth Golden. To participate in this program, please call U.S. 815-880-8255. 
Canada 613-800-8736 or Skype us at Inspired Choices Network. You may also choose to comment by email by going to www.drbethgolden.com. Now back to Golden Alignment with Dr. Beth Golden. Welcome back to Golden Alignment. I am Dr. Beth Golden. I wanted to share a program giving you a heads up. It's in development and will be released shortly. It is called 40 Days to Golden Alignment. And within this program, you will learn some um, mantras that you can use to accelerate gently your life's growth. I mean, I've done this and I've just said it every day for almost 40 days and things have changed and accelerated in a graceful manner and in a very exciting manner. We will talk about knowing and loving yourself and that when you truly honor who you are and know where your boundaries are, you're creating a higher vibration and you're bringing in people places and circumstances with that equal vibration. So I will keep you posted on that program. And welcome back, Zoilita. Thank you so much. Yes. Well, how do you feel about jumping right into sharing with us a hypnosis session? This will take about 10 to 11 minutes. So this is a process. This is a process that I developed for Dr. Beth. This is called the Golden Alignment. This is a process that's designed to help you feel that deep connection to that source energy and allow that to flow through you. It's very important that you are not operating machinery or driving a car when you do this, but that you are taking an opportunity to set back, to rest, and to truly let go. For this process today, we'll allow you to close your eyes unless you have just something pleasant to look at. If you have something pleasant to look at, keeping your eyes open is fine. Now take in a long, deep breath and hold it. Let it out with a sigh. Take in another long, deep breath into the body. And as you exhale now, you can unwind. You can let... Interesting that the universe would not allow Zoilita to have a hypnosis session in this moment. <laughs> well, I will say that her hypnosis program, she'll be back shortly, um, is absolutely fabulous. And she will be, we'll see. I'll say this and we'll see if it compares. She will be bringing us into different rooms and seeing different colors and aligning with our golden self. I have chosen that purposely because gold has the highest vibration of any metal. It's also malleable, so it can be made into a variety of shapes. And we come in on many shapes and forms. So it looks like Zoilita's back. So let's try this again. Um, I don't know if... Okay. So just take a moment now and allow yourself to just let go. To let go and to become open to experience. Begin by imagining a soft, warm shower of light washing down delightfully over your body, washing away tension, washing away pressure. The shower creates a vibrating, tingling sensation as you relax your scalp now your forehead, and your jaw. Relaxing the cheeks now, the ears, now the eyes. Feel your eyes. Your eyes are the windows of the soul. 
And when the outer eyes are closed, you open the eyes of the soul, open the eyes of the soul, relaxing and letting go, relaxing and letting go. Relaxing the neck and the shoulders, the arms and the hands, the hips, the thighs, the knees, the calves, the feet, the toes, your body knows. Take a breath and go deeper now. Take a breath and go deeper now. Now bring your attention to the soles of the feet and imagine that from the soles of the feet there are roots that will go down into the earth. Take a breath. Let go. And your roots travel down now 10 feet, 10, 50 feet, 10, 500, and 1,000, all the way to the center of the earth. And in the center of the earth, there's a ball of liquid golden fire, fire without heat, but fire with power and energy. And some of your roots go around that ball and you are grounded. And some of the roots go into the ball and you are connected, connected and grounded, centered and balanced. Go deeper now, much deeper. Now almost as if you are Sucking on a straw, you begin to draw that power, the power of the earth. The power of the earth is stability and balance and nurture. And the energy of the earth flows up those thousand feet and the five hundred and the fifty and the ten and the five. Stability, balance. Ability back into your body and look into your heart space. Take a deep breath and relax and focus on your heart. And in the center of your heart is something called an adamantine particle. It's quite small and quite powerful. And it fills your heart with love. And I want you to take and into that heart space, visualize a beautiful rose. And in the middle of that rose is that adamantine particle. So we have a rose that signifies love and this particle that emanates a very strong force of love within your body. And I want you to think of somebody that may have hurt you. Have them visualize that and put that person into your heart. Wrap it with that rose and with that adamantine particle. Take a deep breath. And forgive them. Forgiveness is the greatest sense of release for you because when you're in a state of unforgiveness, it keeps you chained to that person. So we lead us back. Will you please step in here? So just allowing yourself as you have that sense of forgiveness in the heart And you allow that energy that comes from the earth to flow up smoothly and evenly through your body and to actually reach the heart. And as it reaches the heart, it begins to spin that vibration, that vibration in the heart. Now shift awareness to the top of your head. And imagine that there is a beautiful golden sun shining down in through the top of the head, radiating golden light from source energy down into the heart. 
into the heart and moving the heart, swirling the red gold fire and the golden white light swirling higher and higher, swirling. And as that energy swirls higher and higher, you begin to move in to your own very best self. Now think about your very best self on a very good day. Allow yourself to feel and know and sense what it's like to be your own true very best self. This is your golden alignment. And holding that place of your own very best self on a very good day, imagine yourself moving through your life. Moving through your life and responding to your life from that sense of golden alignment with your own true purpose, the purpose of your own soul. And every day, And every day when you are walking in purpose, it's a place of relaxation. You don't have to strive. People and places, the doors open. And we need to be ready for this fabulous, wonderful opportunity that we have in life. Life is our smorgasbord. And we get to eat and drink of anything we want. The only thing that's limiting us is ourself, is our mind. So let that golden white light bathe your entire body. I want you to take a moment. We're going to be coming back into our the surroundings around us, into consciousness. And I want you to think of that golden alignment where there's ease and grace. And when you write down your um, intentions... And you live in a place and a vibration of love, joy, peace, and gratitude. That's what you're going to be attracting into your life. And that's when those amazing stories happen. And that's how, um, I don't know, I always call them the divine appointments where all of a sudden you get a phone call. And if you're an entrepreneur, you get this big contract or, you know, somebody's going to come and visit because you're in alignment with your soul. So, Zoilita, we have a just a bit before we go to break. Um, do you think this is a good time, and then we can come back and summarize? Okay. So, um, I'm very sorry that my computer's been clicking in and out. I hope you got the real advantage with the help of Dr. Beth of getting into that sense of that deep connection of alignment. I'd really like to share with your your listeners that I have a wonderful offer. If they go to the website Master, Mindset for Success and do slash master key, they'll be able to buy my new product, which is the mental rewiring process to give you the mindset for success at half price. It will be selling for $197, and they can buy it for 97 through that link. Wow, that is fantastic. So, Alita, will you please repeat the link for our listeners? So you go to www.mindset-for-success.org slash master key. Master Key. And that is also on the Inspired Choices Network under my host, Dr. Beth Golden. All of um, Zolita's contact information can be found there. And we are going to go to our final break. And again, I am Dr. Beth Golden, and this show is Golden Alignment on the Inspired Choices Network with my fabulous guest, Zoilita Grant. Um, We will be wrapping up the discussion with a big bow on the other side of this commercial break. Do you want to create change in your life based on your values? Do you want to love this experience we call life because you are living in alignment with your soul's calling? Do you want to expand your relationship with abundance and move from surviving to thriving? 
By tuning into Inspired Choices Radio Show, Golden Alignment with Dr. Beth Golden, you'll receive tools and inspiration you can use to do just that. You'll be amazed by your golden health, wealth, love, and magical opportunities. Listen for the Golden Alignment Radio Show every Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 1 p.m. Central, 12 p.m. Mountain, and 11 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Hello. Welcome back to the Inspired Choices Radio Show, Golden Alignment, with Dr. Beth Golden. To participate in this program, please call U.S. 815-880-8255, Canada 613-800-8736, or Skype us at Inspired Choices Network. You may also choose to comment by email by going to www.drbethgolden.com. Now back to Golden Alignment with Dr. Beth Golden. Hello and welcome back to Golden Alignment. I was thinking about um, Zoe Lita's comments about being consciously incompetent and um, or con- consciously competent, all of those little variations. And I think about my process of being in golden alignment and I just wanted to share I am becoming better and better at it I don't want you to think I live in this space 24 hours a day seven days a week I don't think life moves that way Um, I know that my go-to emotion tends to be anger or frustration and so I'd like um, to sh- ask Zoelita, when we know what our go-to emotion is, I believe that we need to express that emotion, give it recognition and not stuff it, and then be able to move forward again into you know, courage, which is the, above the line and kind of moves us into a more positive place. So Zoelita, if our listeners know what their go-to emotion is, um, how can we shift back into golden alignment and kind of stay there more consistently? So remember I told you that there's a lot of content stuck in the subconscious mind. And very often when we have an experience of life, there's an instant connection to memory and anything that's not processed then stacks. So if one has leftover anger from things of the past, their anger reaction is out of proportion to the events. So in order to work through that, it's good to get the past cleared so that you can have the present moment emotion at an age-appropriate level and express it and work it through. So you're saying express the emotion work through it at an age appropriate level but make sure that that emotion is not being powered by unresolved things from the past okay this is a um, i would say it's a lifetime process of personal awareness and the reason self-mastery is so important is so that we can live in a space of love which can be challenging in today's world with so many things bombarding us. I think a lot of times um, where I might fall into anger or irritation is if I have an expectation of the way something should be done. I've been calling my medical insurance for a month and they haven't gotten the paperwork done. And in my mind, because I create order, I'm thinking this is crazy. There has to be a more efficient way of doing it. And that's when I get into those irritated feelings. Also, if I'm hungry, angry, lonely, or tired. Of so course. I think what Zolita is saying is so true and valid. But we also have some things that we need to look at in ourselves that are more on the surface initially. And, okay, am I hungry? Is my blood sugar low? How much sleep have I had? You know, those kinds of things that we can mitigate rather quickly. So give me your take on that, Zolita. So I think there are there are a couple of basic guidelines to life to think about. The first one is give up the three C's. And the three C's are basically 
complaining, criticizing, and comparing. When you have those mindsets, it tends to create more irritability. Instead of the three C's, take on the three M's. And the three M's are manage your inner dialogue. Self-talk is the most important conversation in the world. Maximize your mind. Make sure that you're meditating regularly and that you're using your mind to do mental rehearsals of successful life. And the third one is maintain an optimistic attitude. So when you get those mindsets in place, then it affects your experience of life and you're not as likely to be irritated by behavioral patterns that perhaps come from the past. Yes. And then the other thing that I am employing now is I listen to layered soundtracks in the morning right when I get up. And then as I'm tucking myself into bed, I just put my headset on and have them on my phone. And it kind of puts me to sleep and I listen to them then. So that first thing in the morning and last thing at night, I am aligning with the higher vibration. I'm being reminded of all these fabulous things um, about complaining, criticizing, comparing, because actually most people live there 70% of the time. And moving toward managing inner dialogue, um, maximizing my mind with a vision of success for myself and or my clients, and maintaining an optimistic attitude. And when we learn that we don't have to be so controlling and that life has an amazing way of blessing us, I think that happens really nicely. So, Zolita, so with um, goals and alignment and being having an optimistic attitude, and, you know, so do you recommend to your clients that they maintain a practice of listening to CDs or doing something on a consistent basis to stay in the three M's rather than the three C's? You know, just like we have to brush our teeth every day, just like we have to wash our faces and hands, we have to attend to our minds. We have to attend to our energy. And so habits like the ones that you are developing or other ones that are in the same kind of family of behaviors are so important to help us maintain that sense of golden alignment. And when we're in that, we truly experience the sweet spots of life. Wow. Well, thank you, Zoilita. We are very close to the end of our show. Um, I wanted to thank you for your expertise and the, the beautiful dance that we had with um, the meditation. So Elita has several meditation CDs that you can access on her website. So please feel free to go there. They are absolutely amazing. Um, so if you want to quickly say thank you, I will close the show, Zoilita. I also would like to say that all of my stuff is also available on iTunes and on Amazon. So thank you so much for having me, and I wish you a golden alignment in all things. Thank you so much. You know what? This has been a fabulous inauguration of Golden Alignment, and I am so grateful to have the experience of being on Inspired Choices Network. I am a winner of a contest that uh, the owner, Christine McIver, put out. So I am absolutely blessed to have won that. I had to achieve winning it. <laughs> it wasn't a gimme. <laughs> so thank you so much for tuning in today, and I will see you next week, Wednesday, 12 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. And until then, you have a fabulous week. Stay in a golden alignment. God bless you. Thank you for choosing to listen to Golden Alignment. Dr. Beth Golden will return next Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 1 p.m. Central, 12 p.m. Mountain, and 11 a.m. Pacific on InspireChoicesNetwork.com. We hope you'll join us. Until then, enjoy playing in that golden space where health, wealth, 
love and magical opportunities appear in